What's going on, Pokemon trainers? This is Trainer Connor, and that's right, we're here with another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle video here in Sun and Moon. I'm very happy to say that I'm back for a while here. I am getting back into the community once again. Um, here we have an awesome OU battle today against one Pokemon Battle Network. He's got a great YouTube channel. So if you have not seen any of his content yet, hit him up on there. I will put that in the description. If you don't see it, let me know. I'll change it. Now we have a, um, we got some good teams going on here. My side has Weezing, Serena, Lola Marowak, Agron, Salamence, and Capufini. The, um, one of the Olola legendaries in the game. And then you see Juan has Volcanion. Ferret Thorn, Heracross, I can go Mega, um, Gengar can't go Mega, because I'll be banned. And then we see Raikou and Mew. So a lot of legendaries, but we can handle it. Very interesting teams going head to head. I'm going to say right now, me and Juan have had so many battles. I think this is the start of a gauntlet here. I'm also, uh, if you're interested in a giveaway, because I am doing giveaways now, there is a Marshadow giveaway going on, on my Twitter page. Twitter is linked in the description and as well on the overlay. So if you're interested in that, hit that up. Goes until the 27th. Now we start up the match with Weezing. Not a good matchup because we end up dealing with a steam eruption. I managed to survive that somehow and we end up, I tried poisoning it, but it's not working out here. Seeing that I'm at low health means I can go for Pain Split, and we actually catch Ferrothorn instead of Volcanion. I would prefer to be Volcanion, because I don't really have much for Volcanion on this team. I do have Agron, but I want to save him for other things, but, you know, he's there. Now, because he stays in on Weezing, I'm going to burn Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn, I don't know, my opponent should have switched out and saved him. Per se, but that is okay. I end up, I end up burning him. It's very good. I wasn't sure if he was gonna set up stealth rocks or spikes or thunder wave. He has iron head, and that's good because I burned him. Not gonna do as much. You see that we have a double switch out. I get the better end of the deal as far as typing matchup goes. I go into Agron. He goes into Gengar, but. I predicted him to switch out because why would you want to do that? Like, Agron versus Gengar. He ends up going back into Ferrothorn, and I go for Head Smash. Not a good move on my part because I take a little bit of Iron Barbs. I don't have, like, this particular Agron has Rock Head, so I don't take Recoil from the Head Smash anyways. And he does not have a uh, Rocky Helmet as well, so very good stuff there. Not much Recoil to deal with, but, uh, here I'm going to try setting up my stealth axe there. We do end up setting them up. And we see Power Whip not doing as much. I'm really happy I burned Ferrothorn. That is a good sign to see right there. And then we take him out with another Iron Head. And I am going to take a little bit more recoil. But if I take any more, it's not going to be, it's not going to be very healthy for Agron. Uh, for taking care of Volcanion if I wanted to do that. Or other Pokemon. There's a lot of Pokemon that we have to deal with, but Volcanion is a threat, and I'm really happy that the Stealth Hawks are up. And uh, what happens here is that he gets a, a Quick Claw activation, outspeeds me, and takes me out with a Steam Eruption. That was completely off guard. I didn't really expect that one bit, but that's okay. Even though Agron went down, I'm going to go into Tappy Feeny. I go for Moonblast, I'm trying to lower his um, special attack by a few stages. I'm really surprised that he did that much damage. But uh, we see Sludge Wave, not, I mean, I knew he had access to that, but I don't see that much on Volcanion for some reason. And then here I over predict, I thought he might switch out or something. And he has the Water Absorb. It's really hard to figure out Volcanion 
He has these like weird abilities. He's got weird typing. He has fire water and then he has water absorbed. So you can't really use certain moves like Skull or anything like that. He has another quick call activation, surprisingly, and then he just finishes me off with a steam eruption there. Close, but not yet. I don't know why he went for that move. Um, it's not very effective. He might have been able to take me out, but you see that I end up surviving it. That's okay, I get a little bit more damage onto the Volcanion, and then he does not get his activation from the Quick Claw, and I get a little bit more damage, so this is getting ridiculous, like, I'm, I'm getting close to these KOs, and then my Pokemon go down, and after a while, my other Pokemon to take him out. That is okay, this is a great battle so far. I end up surviving, or, I mean, we end up outspeeding Volcanion, I'm sorry. I'm a little bit tired. Um, I'm always tired, but that is beside the point. We using our speeds and we KO Volcanion. Here's Gengar, and I don't really have anyone that could take on a Gengar, even if I switch out. So I'm going to stay in and go for a Thunderbolt. I don't really have any other choice. And we end up paralyzing Gengar. Wow. I never get that Thunderbolt paralysis. That's like a 10% chance. And we get a critical hit. Unfortunately, he has the cursed, the cursed body ability that makes it so I don't use Thunderbolt. It's not like I'm going to use it against Mew. Now, here's where things get a little bit crazy because, yeah, I know it's stupid, but I leave, I leave uh, Weezing against a Mew like that. That's why he went for the Will O Wisp. He was expecting me to switch out. Man, I don't know why I did that. I, I ended up going for pinks, but it works okay there, but still, not a good decision. Here we go, we see Mew using his Z-Power Genesis Supernova, and that is going to finish me off. Like, who's going to survive it outside of a Focus Sash? I really like the animation for, for the uh, Genesis Supernova. I'm sorry, Weezing, but you did really well in this battle, I'm not going to lie. Um, if you guys have never used a Weezing before, he's really good, I gotta say. Whether it's defense or uh, offense, I guess, it worked out okay. Here I go into Marowak, and um, I knew I could live a knockoff. I just go for a Shadow Bone. Because he knocked off my Thick Club, this attack will not finish off Mew. Very unfortunate, because I end up living, or, I mean, I end up, <laughs> well, I keep screwing up. I end up losing Marowak in the end. And the battlefield is weird, you see that? I don't know what that means. I haven't really had much experience with this ability or the after effects of the Z-Power. I don't know. But it's not going to do much in this battle, so thankfully for that. So thankful for that. Now... I go with Salamence here. This is a weird Salamence. It has Home Claws. I use a couple of these because I know he's going to burn me, but I need to get my attack up a little bit. It has Home Claws alongside Draco Meteor and Iron Tail and uh, one other move. So it's weird. Yes, I know. Home Claws is there to boost up my physical moves and then to boost up the accuracy of Iron Tail and Draco Meteor. We end up using Iron Tail and Draco Meteor against Mew for some reason. I just keep using different attacks on him. I don't know if that was the best decision to use against Mew. I guess I was like really frustrated at this point because Mew was being a pain in the butt throughout the battle. So I decided to go all out and use Draco Meteor right there. And then he goes into Raikou. I haven't really seen Raikou hit the battlefield yet. I wasn't sure if it was Scarfed or Choice Specs. We'll, be, we'll, we'll find out. Yes, we will find out. I go into Serena. I'm expecting a Volt Switch here. But he goes for a T-Bolt. And fortunately, he did not get the Paralyzation. Again, it's rare that you get a Paralyzation from Thunderbolt. But uh, he goes for Shadow Ball, and it's really good that he has that for a coverage move. That means that he does not have the uh, Hidden Power Ice or the Hidden Power Fire. I see those a lot on Raikou. That's why I'm really happy to see just Shadow Ball for coverage. I am going to do a lot more damage to him if he stays in. 
So here's where I question him, alright? So Juan switches out and goes into Heracross on the turn that I go for a Chop Kick. I'm not really sure why he did that, because Chop Kick has the after effect where his attack is lowered by one stage. And then he goes for the Mega Evolution. Um, I know for a fact that Serena is faster than regular Amer a regular Heracross there. And upon, after Mega Evolving the next turn, Mega Heracross would be faster than Serena. So if he had Protect or something, he could have won that, but I'm going to outspeed him anyway. Uh, that was a kind of weird, a weird decision by my opponent, but that's okay. Uh, Shadow Ball hits Serena once again. We survive it, and we go for another play rough, and that is my last Pokemon, or my opponent's last Pokemon. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. But a great battle, I had a lot of fun. And we have another battle coming up here, and the next battle format that we're going to be doing is PU, so not much on that, because I don't really do PU that much. It's essentially a new but lower. So look out for that, and I will see you in the next battle video. If you like this video, make sure you like this battle video, and stay tuned. And remember the giveaway on my Twitter page, and it's October 27th. Have a great day, Shanners.